Okay, so I recently updated to V68. And guess what? I have access to Meta AI now. Now, I will mention that I thought I was updated to V68 before, but then I turned my headset on and it asked me to update, so I updated. Anyway, goes without saying, you will need version 68, V68 or higher in order to actually do this. So what you want to do is go to settings. You can either click settings or you can click on this time thing and click on settings that way. Once you go to settings, you want to go, well, there are two places we need to go. First, experimental features, okay? And then where it says Meta AI, you want to turn this on, okay? It will basically walk you through a few things on how to activate it and whatnot, which I'll tell you how in a moment. But the second thing you will want to do is go to system, okay? Then go to Meta AI. This is where you'll be able to, um, you know, change stuff. Like you'll be able to change the voice. You'll be able to do all kinds of things. Silent voice interactions. If you want it to be able to use your camera, activity logs, all that stuff. You can even do the shortcut. Controller shortcut is on by default. What that means is so you can actually double tap the meta button in order to get it to come up. Think of it as like a Siri type thing but for your meta quest headset so i'm gonna go ahead and double tap it take screenshot and as you can see it took a screenshot of what i'm looking at and saved it to photos and then we can also do stuff such as, let me go ahead, double tap it. How many ounces are in a cup? Okay, let's go ahead and X out of that. But as I don't know if you heard, but it actually was a voice response. It wasn't a text response. It was a voice response. Hopefully in the future, they add more features. In order to disable this, so you just do the same in reverse, like say you don't want the AI right now, you go over to experimental and you can just uncheck it and it will turn off meta AI. Now, if you're watching this video in the future, I do want to mention that if it's not in experimental anymore, it means it's out of its experimental phase which basically just means it's an official part of it now. So yeah, just come in here anytime you want to enable or disable it. Now you will need to unmute your mic if you mute it because the uh, Meta Quest 3 has a built-in mic, so you don't got to worry about any of that. That's how it's actually hearing me and whatnot. So yeah, hopefully this has helped you. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later.